outcome at Highbury except that Arsenal spent much of the first half missing the few chances they made. Their style cramped by the driving rain and Manchester City's hungry midfield five. Until with City convinced they should have had a free kick for that foul on Nicolas Anelka, Thierry Henry found enough space for a cross that Michael Tarnat made a mess of. Kevin Keegan's side had to revert to type and take more risks going forward. Sylvain Distan stretched Jens Lehmann to the limit as the rain lashed down and the curtain came up on the career of Arsenal's club record signing. Jose Antonio Reyes greeted the warmest of welcomes with a childlike smile and a cameo that suggests he's already acclimatised to all things English. Immediately on the wavelength of Henri and Pires. David James denied him that dream debut goal. While Reyes roamed on the right, Henri was sensing more space on the left-hand side. Seconds later, the Spaniard helped create a chance for the Frenchman. Again, the Englishman had to present a formidable barrier. A second goal eventually arrived, but again, Kevin Keegan had cause for complaint. As Sol Campbell left Robbie Fowler in a heap, as City attempted a breakaway. But play was allowed to continue by referee Alan Wiley. City weren't happy, but they should have had time to reorganise. The next time James squares up to Henri should be the opening match of Euro 2004. So how about this for a parting shot from the European Player of the Year? His 16th of a formidable season. And when Henri gets this lost in the moment, you know he's done something rather special. The game was done, but the drama wasn't. Nicholas Anelka, Arsenal old boy booed throughout, had spent the afternoon reminding those with broader appreciation that he's still a class act, even in a struggling team. He deserved his goal, but Le Sulk ended up having more cause to feel persecuted. Ashley Cole played keep ball, Anelka didn't like it, and the gloves were off. Anelka raised his arms, so did Cole and Adu. But when it all cooled off, the handshakes didn't do Anelka any good. Alan Wiley booked the Arsenal offenders, but then sent the City striker off. Cole said he should have received the same punishment, words that didn't mean too much to Kevin Keegan. I don't think the referee had a good game tonight. I don't often criticise referees. I don't think he had a good game. I think Sean Wright Phillips got fouled four times over on the right-hand side, and on the fourth one, he blew up and gave us a throw-in. Now, if you need four free kicks here to get a throw-in, then it's going to be a struggle for anyone to come here, not just Manchester City. Well, you can understand Kevin Keegan's frustration the rights and wrongs of it we'll debate now. F I suppose the first point to make, Rob, is, is for the two Arsenal goals, City yeah. felt there were fouls on their players mm. that preceded them, either by a few seconds or more. Yeah. Let's just have a look at both of those. Yes, yeah, strangely, it was a weekend when all the, t the top teams struggled to get results. This was a Gilberto one. I don't think, actually, the Brazilian does too much wrong there. I don't actually think he hangs his leg. It looks to me more as though Anelka has made the challenge on him. I didn't think that one was too bad. The second one, the Robbie Fowler one, which we'll see here, Sol maybe gets a touch of the ball, there's definite contact, and that could have gone either way. I think City would maybe feel a little bit harsh they didn't get the mm. free kick, but there's no doubt about the finish. You know, they've gone down the other end of the pitch, and this fella just keeps setting new levels of, of standards for strikers. An unbelievable finish. But um, things did seem to go Arsenal's way. Well, yesterday. indeed. Any takers for the fact that play could have been stopped for a free kick on either occasion of those occasions? I don't think there was much wrong with either of them. Don't you? No, I, I think, think the second one, to be fair, I think most refs would have given that. Yeah. As you saw it, I must say, as you saw yeah. it at full speed, it looked like a foul. Yeah, I mean, it was on the it, didn't, catch, it? didn't it? No, 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 no I'm not like looking at that, but I would have saved where the referee was. I, I would have thought he'd have, he'd have thought Campbell had cleaned Fowler out. I would have thought so. He didn't, to be yeah. fair. And obviously, uh, with uh, us having the hindsight of that, we see it, mm. and you know, he's made the correct decision. But I think most refs would have, would have given a foul. OK, well, we get to what I guess has been the major talking point via an email, uh, Andy, from uh, Andy Innes in Aberdeen. And Elka was correctly sent off, says Andy. Ashley Cole was correctly booked, says Andy. Was there a case for Edu to join Anelka for his part in proceedings? Possibly. Possibly, because he came flying in at the last minute mm. when, he, when he, you know, he quite clearly doesn't need to be getting involved, but, but, but certainly... What about the a, red and yellow for the two? Then? Well, it was a messy incident. I mean, uh, this happens a lot, you know. The, the, don't forget, there's only a couple of minutes sure. left on the clock. Ashley Cole was just trying to take the sting out of it and... Uh, and wind the clock down. Then all of a sudden there's a little bit of handbags. Do you know what, Matt? Irrespective of all that I've seen there, and, and the scuff, Edu there is, is out of all the way, he comes flying in. There, there's some trying to make the peace and others trying to provoke. Sure. I think the referee there, the best thing he could have done, honestly, would have just been, let's get back on the halfway line, let's get the game going again. 
Honestly, I really do. I don't think uh, uh, there was anything seriously, seriously malicious about what Nicholas and Elka done. Yes, he's put his hands on his face, and the letter of the law says you have to go off. But I mean, he's actually embarrassed there, Ashley Cole. He's a bit embarrassed. Yeah. That and what we've he heard since he felt he should have got whatever yeah, Elka got. That's why he's sort of he's arguing with the ref there. It's all a bit too late, unfortunately, because Elka's already got sent off. But uh, you know what? I, I see that. And if you take a bit that sort of passion out of the game. And, and, and try and clean up the game completely, well, what's it going to become? It doesn't enhance an already slightly shaky reputation for Ashley Cole in this troublemaking department, does it, Paul? No, it doesn't. I mean, Arsenal's discipline, actually, since the melee at uh, Old, Old Trafford, Trafford earlier this season has been excellent. Yeah. And you can tell that Wenger took them to one side and said, let's stop all this you know, peripheral stuff, people rushing in, Diving handbags in, yeah. and that sort of thing. Mm. And what Edu did there actually was reminiscent of what happened at Old Trafford earlier this year. And Ashley Cole... Is, is a provocative player and it's always just below the surface with him and I think I think I have some sympathy for Anelka because for me what Ashley Cole did was actually more provocative. Anelka reacted to something but mm. Ashley Cole started it I think. Mm. Interesting. On the plus side Ron um, I guess for Arsenal was the introduction of Reyes the new signing. I think he's been talked about around European football for a while as a kid who was going to be a big star of the future and I guess now's his time eh? Yeah, I mean, Wenger doesn't make many mistakes when he buys players, and uh, to be fair, when he invested so much in this kid, you knew that he bought something that looks as if it's going to be almost solid gold. I mean, you possibly, is he going to be another Henri? Great start, settles in well. I mean, the weather, he must have thought, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> so like, but he was touch, bright. He's, and I'll tell you what I like about it, he looks strong, you know. Yeah. He looks as if he's got some physical presence. Touch. Lovely little layoff there. And he, did, he didn't look phased at all on it. And, uh, yeah. They say he's Bill Shank used to say things well, about, look at the eyes. Yeah. You see him, he looks bright-eyed. He looks yeah. really as if he's about it. They say he's, he's very quick with the ball at his feet, don't they? He runs yeah. very fast with the ball at yeah. his feet. I, mean, I, I saw him in a game in similar conditions, actually, where he destroyed Real Madrid. 4-1, uh, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And uh, he's, he's, he's an exciting player. He's one that, you know, if he, if he fits in with, like, the Henri's and people like that, and Pires, then I tell you what, they are going to be well, well, well worth That was the out. Madrid defence. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> you like him, Rob? Yeah, and I think he fits that Arsenal bill of people with pace. I mean, if you're going to keep up with Henry, you've got to have a certain amount of pace. That's a criteria that Arsene Wenger has in these forwards, and he looks another that, you know, it might just slip in there. It's worth reminding ourselves as well, Arsenal's still unbeaten in the Premiership. They are closing in on, on the, the records, one of which I think they're now level with, which is their own from, from the 1990-91 season under George Graham. 23 and, and counting, obviously, this one, and 29 the records in the top flight held by, in one season, Leeds and Liverpool. Most could amazing could thing. go. They're still only two points clear as well. That's the most yeah. amazing thing for me. Unbeaten all season and still can't get away from the pack shows the quality of probably Manchester United and Chelsea um, above anybody else. But uh, it's been a phenomenal record as well as the attacking based on some very good defending as well. Go to Molyneux next, so that's it. It's curtains for the Tough record. Game, yeah. <laughs> well, they did quite well, actually. They beat yeah, Man United. Yeah. Took a point of Liverpool, yeah. so it's, it's no pushover. No 